Hey everyone, Mark Kwok here. Today we're talking about something I always love to talk about, and that is coffee. If you've seen any of my videos recently, you know that I love coffee. I love to talk about the things I use to brew coffee. And I wanna talk now about my latest addition when it comes to coffee. It's a somewhat new grinder, but it's become quite popular, and it's by Fellow. It's called, oof, this thing is heavy, the Fellow Ode. This bad boy. So for those of you guys who follow me, you know that I've talked about Fellow before. I have this here, the Fellow Kettle. I love this guy, it's one of my favorite things. It's been uh, in my household for maybe like a couple years now. But I, I really do love the company Fellow. They started really off with this, but somewhat recently they decided to be a part of every step of the coffee brewing process and not just the kettle, but also now a grinder. So let's talk about how this compares to my previous grinder, if it's a good grinder overall and if it's worth its pretty steep price tag. So let's talk the pros about this grinder first. Number one, aesthetics. I've said it before, but Fellow just makes dope looking products, really clean, really, really nice on a, on a kitchen table or in a counter or something like that. It's almost like a minimalist statement piece that sits on your counter. I mean, when you have that kettle on there, when you have that grinder on there, it just elevates the space, making it look better than normal. And now I would say that that's actually important. You're in your kitchen every day, and when things look good, you wanna use those items, it just makes you feel slightly better. And I've talked about this in many videos before, but aesthetics do matter. Design is something worth paying for, and in this case, I definitely did. Just the way it looks is so unique, right? Like, I've never seen a grinder that looks quite like this. The second pro is how thoughtfully it's designed. I, you know, I, I'm not a professional or a scientist when it comes to grinding your coffee, but I do know it's an important part of the process. You wanna make sure that the beans are ground to a specific coarseness. You wanna make sure that things are accurate. You're getting as much coffee as you put in. All those sort of things matter. And they've really done all the thinking for you. So I don't really have, I just have to kind of press a button, know exactly what kind of amount of coffee that I want, and then I'm good to go. You get this little cup, which is awesome, that, that houses your grind, so then you can take this and put it into your machine, your coffee machine. It has all these magnets and various things that make the process just a little bit more elegant and thoughtful. I just think that they've put more thought into this and they want it to be innovative and try something that's like not been done before by other grinders and they've done it really well. You can tell that these are coffee snobs and people who know coffee a lot that actually designed this product. And the fact that it looks good as well as functioning well, like that's a perfect mix, right? You want both form and function and I think this gets a nice balance of both those things. So there, form, function, those are the pros. What are the cons? There are a couple things that I don't like about this as well. The first is that it's not a perfect machine when it comes to, let's say, getting all the coffee out. And I think this honestly is with any sort of grinder. When you grind, you wanna be able to kind of extract as much of the grinds as possible. Sometimes though, your machine, I don't know, like keeps a couple of the grinds in there. So you create a mess and you get residue, it's all over the place. This is no exception. You do this like 10 times and you still have grinds coming in over and over and over again. Now, are, are there any grinders that do this perfectly? I don't think so. Therefore, I can't really knock it too much but my expectations were high, right? The second thing is going to be the big price differential between this grinder and so many others that are in the market. This thing is a solid $300 if you don't have any like coupons or anything like that. So 300 bucks for grinding your coffee. So yeah, I think overall this thing is a little bit overpriced and you're kind of paying that extra because it has the prestige of the design, it's innovative, it's something new and so on. So overall, here's my thoughts. If you're talking about a summary here, you're talking about getting the best form plus function machine out there. I think this looks the best, feels the best, and kind of is consistent and good and at parity with some of the best grinders out there. So in that case, fantastic. Not only does it work well, but it looks good. You don't get that in the market very much, and so you're gonna have to pay that premium to get that. That being said, if you don't care, right, you're just looking for the bare minimum of getting a grinder, and you want something that works and is consistent and the form doesn't matter that much and the sexiness doesn't matter that much and so on. I don't know if I would recommend this fully because you are paying a, a substantial amount for the design. You're also paying a substantial amount for this kind of innovative new take on this thing, which doesn't necessarily add a bunch of value, but it is something novel and interesting. So in the case that you just want bare bones, you're a meat and potatoes guy and you just don't care much about the accoutrement, 
in that case, I would not invest in this system. I would just get the most popular one out there, which was the previous one I had, which is the Baratza Encore. The, I mean, it's gonna cost you maybe above 100 bucks, but it's cheaper than this guy, and it does the job pretty much. I can't say it does it any worse. However, if you are a little bit more particular, right? You're like kind of like me, where you like that design. You put value towards that kind of higher echelon product that's more thoughtful, innovative. Then I would look highly into this. Give it a shot. I mean, it's hefty, consistent, cool. You love the look of it. You love the feel of it. Every day, it's kind of a joy to use the thing. So the fellow Ode Grinder, a new product, but something that I do really appreciate and like. Give it a shot if you're kind of like me. Pass it and go with the Barossa Encore if you're not. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I'll see you guys on the next one.